Number five. We finally made it, guys. So as you can see, over here, we got the closet and the red carpet and the steps to go up the red carpet. And now, finally, there's no movie premiere, nothing happening. So um, this passage here, which was completely blocked before, is now freed up, relatively freed up. People keep passing by. And so right in front of it, opposite of the red carpet, is the Chanel boutique next to the Dior boutique. But So they've dressed up their windows for the occasion with their red carpet looks. But let's get into the red carpet looks. The first window has these three pieces. Now, I mentioned this before, and I don't know if I'm gonna edit it out or not. Mm, I've been talking a lot today, but this one in real life, this particular piece here, let me zoom in as much as I can. It's a bit complicated because the tool floral arrangements kind of, you see how they hang off the dress a little bit? It cheapens it to me. It, it makes it liveless. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know. It might not. Um, it might not warrant the price range because. Look at that. As I was telling you, we were gonna get to the prices. We got to the prices. And mm, this one is. So the first one is twenty-eight thousand eight hundred fifty euro. That would be, I don't know, around $35,000. And the other dress next to it is 23,130 euro. The third dress is 37,490 euro. The collier is 1,790 euro. And the bag is 8,300 euro. So, I would say the second dress is interesting, more red carpety than the first one. It covers the knee, so that's kind of good because, you know, depending on how good your legs are. Um, the third one is a bit more haute couture-ish in terms of the beads. Now, that bag is from the Métier d'Art collection, from the Ritz Paris, Ritz Métier d'Art collection, so... That's that. They have a little floral arrangement, so the, the gold beading there it gives us a floral touch and mood. It's an interesting piece, but I have the feeling, I mean, that collier, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't style it with, with that collier. But I mean, I guess they just had to add some accessory here, but I mean, this is kind of a pretty décolleté. The belt, this kind of stretchy belt area, I don't know, it just doesn't warrant uh, almost 40,000 um, euro price range. Now moving on to the fourth look. We have the Satwa kind of collier type, a jacket with a zipper. This particular zipper, I don't know, you be the judges of that, but the zipper kind of cheapens it for me. I, I mean, I guess they wanted to make it look fresh and young, but it kind of cheapens it to me. Then we got a seasonal Chanel bag uh, in different types of leathers. And then we got this skirt or dress. I would say skirt. And definitely a lot of um, handiwork went into it. And it's, it's interesting, and I guess when you move in it, it kind of flows and moves nicely, but you you got to have a particular type of figure, and it's wool, and it's heavy wool, and it's kind of heavy. I, I don't see this on the red carpet. It's very, very heavy. It's just my personal opinion. But let's check out the price range. The price range is for the vest... 61,230 euro, the skirt is 15,740 euro, the collier is 1,690 euro, the sautois is 1,320 euro, and the bag is 5,350 euro. So, the vest would retail for over um, $70,000. Ah. So, happy shopping. Okay, now let's peek into the Chanel boutique from the outside. This is what you get. Let's zoom in a little. 
We got little bags waiting for us. Nice little arrangement there. Can't wait to go in as soon as I have a minute's time to actually check out what the boutique has to offer. But we're moving on to the next window. Here we have the white collection. Um, this is pretty. I, let, me, let me just show you like all four white looks before I get into the analysis of these guys here because so the camera died on me before so we're gonna analyze all three of them before I get into detail on every look and um, just quickly so three of them plus the fourth one they're young right because we have white the color of innocence I don't really see it for the for the red carpet May, maybe this one but the problem with these pieces is we're gonna get to the prices in a second um, they're you know, when you're when you're very young, the way that they're tailored and, and produced, they're too complex. They're, they're they're too mature in the execution, perhaps. But then they're made for somebody young. But then the price range is not for somebody young. So I think these dresses are not really good for any age. If you're too if you're in the older age uh, bracket, you're not gonna look good in this. And if you're too young, it's gonna actually make you look older. This is just my opinion on the subject. And I mean, let's not even you know discuss the price, but let's zoom into the boy bag. Beaded. And I think the leather is iridescent to a certain extent on this one. Um, and then we got the, the, the beads and the pearls, right? So let's flip it so you see even better, like that. All right, so let me go into the zoomed in version of this one. Okay, so here we're talking about silk, we're talking about, um, I guess it's crepe de chine. And we're talking 20,850 euro, that would be around 27 to 30 thousand dollars, depending on the exchange rate of the moment. All right, now let's go to the price range. So, the first one we've seen of the three, the one with the bag is 32,580 euro. The boy bag is 6,800. Second piece, 15,630. The collier is 3,650. Third dress is 61,030. The collier is 950 and the sautois is 1,790 euro. So, Chanel moves on further. We have the entrance to the building. I think they own at least the bottom floor of the building. This is the kind of night blue black window. Um, of course, this totally not for the red carpet. The middle piece jacket. Yeah, there's a certain elegance to it. If you are a little bit older, this would be an interesting um, thing to consider for yourself because you hide the dangerous area there that a lot of you ladies don't like to show. However, it does not cover the elbow. Not covering the elbow means that in that elbow area, you, you still might want to cover that up. The kind of silky plissé part of the dress, of the skirt, looks interesting, but it kind of weighs it down with the feathers at the bottom. This one might look very interesting when, you, when you're walking. You know, when you start moving, the three-dimensional aspect of it might bring it to life. So, I would need to see this one in motion. The first one opens up at the bottom a little bit in an A shape. Um, if you're particularly curvy, this one could be very flattering. But however, there's nothing covering, you know, the 
shoulders and the elbows that's the bag with kind of the metal is a treated in a kind of a spilled oil and petrol manner which is very interesting but we have to get to the prices of this one so as you can see it's not focusing but okay it's focusing so the dress the first one with the a cut bottom is 26,780 euro the bag with the metal um, petrol effect is 12,000 euro the other dress vest is 25,060 euro the skirt is 16,510 euro and the collier is 1,290 euro moving on to this piece very difficult to pull off on a red carpet I, I like mixing um, night blue, navy, and black. We've seen this bag on their website relatively often. It's a 255 reissue in kind of a towel jersey material with all the embroideries of the Chanel bottle, the letters, and the planets. Now, when we get to the price here, we notice 18,840 euro for the ensemble, the top and the short. So this is a steel, guys, you should get it. Uh, the belt is 790 and the bag is 18,000. There you go. Let's zoom into the store. That's as much as we can see. I love the sunglasses wall. And right in there... The Les Exclusives fragrance is waiting for us. I wonder if the sales of La Pausa are any bigger now that the cruise collection entitled La Pausa came out, you know? I wonder if the perfume sales have kind of plummeted, of La Pausa in particular. Here's some more evening dresses. So as you can see, the Cannes Boutique is like really expensive. They're like pushing it, all of their evening dresses. Oh, this one. And this is the last piece to see mirrored over there. This is very fascinating. Zoom in. With the bag. And this is kind of a plasticky material beaded with pilots and little <laughs> tiny crystals. And I think it's only pilots and kind of a plasticky material. Um, let's look at the price. This one retails for 24,270 euro and the bag is 10,100 euro. So the dress is around $30,000 and around $15,000 for the bag. I'm rounding these prices up. Of course, they vary. I'm not a fan of this bag though. Too, too many mm, crystals and Chanel. I don't know. I think it's something more aimed to the Asian market. Not really um, good for Europe. Anyway, so that's the logo. That's the store, and that's the people looking at it. Look at that sunset, isn't that gorgeous? Um, here we are, Cannes Film Festival, red carpet, palm trees. So that's that, guys. Um, we will be going into the boutique hopefully pretty soon. I'll try, Let, I'll try my luck. So that's that, guys. Love you all. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube if you haven't already. If you have, click the notifications button for all the upcoming updates. Um, furthermore, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Super Jacob, all spelled together. Love you all and never forget to never give up on love. Peace and out.